Hello everyone, I'm Judy Feinberg from SRI and ETTC, here to present for you today a workshop on dyslexia, the first of many, um, regarding the state requirements. So, here's some statistics for you. It doesn't just happen in our country. It happens all over. We had a child um, who was an ESL child, and the child was doing a great job learning to speak English. And when we started teaching him to read and write English, we, the teachers couldn't believe it. He couldn't do it. So I, I said to him, like, is, does he have a reading disability? Is he dyslexic? And they looked at me, and, and they said, no, he's ESL. So it happens no matter what language you speak, no matter what country you're in, um, males and females. And this we talked about, average to above average intelligence. So many times, here's a scenario for you. Little Johnny is a great kid, comes from a great family, his family values education, has two older siblings. The older siblings are great, nice kids, smart. In kindergarten, he's doing great. In first grade, he's doing really well. In second grade, everything falls apart for him. There was no significant change in the family life. He had great teachers in kindergarten and first grade and second grade, too. What happened? No one can figure it out. What might have happened? This slide I'm going to read out loud because this is huge, okay? This is the definition which IDA is the International <coughs> Dyslexia Association. Um, so I'm going to read this out aloud to you. Dyslexia is a specific learning disability that is neurological in origin. It is characterized by difficulties with accurate and or fluent word recognition and by poor spelling and decoding abilities. These difficulties typically result from a deficit, here we go, in the phonological component of language. And we will, in just a couple minutes, talk about what phonological awareness is. Some people call it phonemic awareness. It is not the same as phonics. And there are many people that think it is. They are totally different things, so we'll talk about that. So the major difficulty is this. Now, I just want to kind of put a caveat here. Um, I actually know of a family that has a child that has dyslexia in third grade. Her phonological awareness is fine. She has other issues pertaining to dyslexia. So this is basically a general statement. Just like you can't say that every child with a specific learning disability is the same, you, or every five-year-old is the same, um, you can't say that every child with dyslexia is the same either. But this is the most common okay, problem. It's often unexpected, and I should have bolded unexpected here too, because we talked about that. It's unexpected because the child is bright, there's good home support, the child is nice, the child tries, and the child has had great teachers and great instruction. So no one can figure out, why isn't Johnny reading? It makes no sense. Unexpected in relation to other cognitive abilities and the provision of effective classroom instruction. This is big too. The secondary consequences may include problems in reading comprehension and reduced reading experience that can impede growth of vocabulary and background knowledge. The bottom line is, if you cannot decode words and it's such a chore for you, you're spending so much time decoding them, you're not paying attention at all to understanding what you're reading. You're exhausted. You only have so much bandwidth, so to speak. So all your bandwidth is being used to decode these words. You just want to get through the sentence. It's that simple. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Um, okay. Going to play a video for you in a second, but before I do, I just want to go over some things with you here. Um, before I play the video, on pages four and five, you have in your handout packet, it's called the Brimbley Bog. I want you to try to read this page because 
Um, this is an example of what a child with dyslexia would write. And for, you, for those of you who are feeling very cowardly, if you can't figure it all out, it's written correctly on the next page. But try, because as a teacher, okay, you assigned, you assigned your class to write a story. This is what a dyslexic child would write. 